Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Delise and I am a full-time working mom to three kiddos. In this video, I wanted to show you my quick freezer organization. This is my inside freezer. As you can see, things are kind of just stuffed in there. So my three-year-old and I are gonna go ahead and get started with just emptying the entire freezer out. Now he was so excited to help. So you will see him just grabbing things and taking them out. And here I realized he couldn't reach, so I switched angles and we just worked on getting everything out of the freezer. And I put it all up on the countertop just so that I can see what I have. Now I do wanna mention that I have a deep freezer out in my garage, um, but that is also a big mess. So I wanted to start with the inside freezer, empty everything out, and then go through and figure out what I could do um, to make it flow better for my family. So here you'll see I took the little basket out and my three-year-old got in there and there was like ice down there and like crumbs. So he was just wiping everything onto the ground so I can sweep it and mop it later. Look how gross that was, guys. Um, so I washed the basket out and he just cleaned things out from under there. I gave him a rag, let him wipe it. And then I went in and kind of did a more thorough clean, but he was so excited to help me. So I let him do as much as he could. kind of see it on the top of this door here but my freezer has some like rust like marks on it if you know a way to remove those from the stainless steel doors please let me know I've looked it up online it said baking soda and water mixture I tried that it wasn't very successful so I'm just wondering if anybody knows a special trick to remove that I'm not really sure how the freezer got them maybe just from water sitting there or something uh, but yeah, I'd like to remove it. And here you can see me struggling <laughs> to get the basket back into the freezer. So I do finally get it eventually, but I had to take the little organizers I put in it out. And those baskets, if you're wondering, are the locker bins from the Dollar Tree. I was hoping I could fit four in here, but I didn't notice that the drawer is actually curved. So I did two at the bottom and then we went ahead and emptied out the top. Yes, that was one single French toast stick saved in my refrigerator. Well, my freezer. So I just pulled everything out of the top just like I did the bottom and worked on getting everything back into the freezer in categories. <music> whole second row there is just edamame and then I put the frozen fruit on top of it. I don't really eat that that often. I do like it as a snack once in a while but we bought this big bag at Costco so I do end off taking it out of this freezer. It doesn't look much better, but trust me, it is. So I got these baskets at the Dollar Tree and I put one here. This has all of our frozen vegetables in it. There's frozen fruit back there. And these are like uh, cauliflower rice packs that are vegetables, but I eat them as sides sometimes. Back here we have easy things the kids can make themselves for lunch. So like chicken fries, these are broccoli bites, um, pizza, pocket things and there's some other chicken things under there over here I've got like fish mostly fish 
and I've got a few things of like I got some hamburger patties and there's like a chicken breast down there or something and a chicken thigh and then up here this is super overfilled because I went into my deep freezer and found like a full box of frozen gogurt so and some popsicles so we've got these are like the sugar-free fudge pops frozen gogurts so the kids like to eat those like as a snack my husband's lactate ice cream sofrito which I use every day so that's why I keep it up here and then this has a bunch of breakfast things in it waffles french toast sticks pancakes and I put an ice cream in there back here I do have a thing of craft singles because we buy the big pack at Costco and then I always keep one in the inside freezer the rest are in the deep freezer and one in the refrigerator and then we've got ice packs and ice so that's the inside freezer. I'm gonna show you guys my deep freezer. It's seen better days. <laughs> um, it's not. It needs to be defrosted. Um, at one point we lost power, so some things froze down to the bottom once the power came back. But this has just things like um, these are little deep dish personal sized pizzas that my husband likes. I've got some burritos in here. There's one chicken pot pie left. This is our Jinger's favorite. Then we've got like wings and pot stickers, some spinach ravioli, there's um, cooked wings, and then there's raw wings. Um, I did move most of the edamame out here because I don't eat it as often. Um, and then like I said, the bottom has like a frozen layer. There's actually like chicken stuck under there, but um, it's like two packs of chicken. We have to go grocery shopping when we buy groceries at Costco. Um, I always buy chicken and that'll go in here. Of course, um, I need to organize this. So once I defrost it and organize it, I'd like to get like a bin of some sort that I can stick the chicken in because we usually just put it in there and then we have to like search for it. I've got some Texas toast over there, some French fries, and then Hot Pockets, which the kids and my husband like. So that's what the deep freezer is looking like. Like I said, this one still needs to be organized, but it was like filled with gogurts and frozen vegetables and things because we couldn't fit that stuff into the other freezer because it was a mess so here's a little bit of a before and after view for you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure you hit the thumbs up button and comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys